Is this thing even on? Sometimes I wish I really had a flip out screen. I don't see myself. Am I in focus? Am I even in frame? All right, let's just start this. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Arturo and today, today I want to teach you a really cool magic trick that is actually super, super simple. Now, if you've been doing magic for a little while, the chances are that you probably already know this trick. However, I encourage you to watch this video until the end or at least skip to the end because I have a few different variations on this trick that I actually find myself using even in paid walk-around gigs. Especially one of them because one of the variations that I use is a completely impromptu. You can do it with a borrowed deck or or after a spectator shuffle. So you can get, let somebody shuffle your deck and then get it back and do it. Now that's, that's something that I really like. All right, so without further ado, uh, I'll, I'll show you the trick and then I go over it, uh, the most easy version and then I'll let you know about my other variations. <laughs> okay, let's, let's uh, get the, let's, let's start, okay? Hey man, you wanna see a card trick? Yeah, sure. All right, so we just place it in the middle. This is good, right? All right, look, you won't believe your eyes. If I just go, rice, your card actually jumps to the top. Not your card? No? You sure? Uh, okay, give me one more chance, okay? Rice, and your card now jumps to the top. No, not your card? You sure? Um, <laughs> okay, let's forget about this trick. Um, let's try something completely different. What if, what if these could actually be leader cards? You know, like wolves always follow the leader, leader in the pack. So watch this. If we place these cards upside, I think that in a split second, the entire deck faces upside, following the leader cards, except one card, the lone wolf. Could this be? Your card? Whoa! Whoa! All right, so this is how you do this trick. This is actually really, really simple, and I know that you'll be able to do this right after this video. So, all you need is a little bit of sneakiness, okay? Because it's magic. Um, you place three cards on the bottom like this. So this is the set, set, setup for the easiest version, okay? Uh, your the entire deck is face down in regular order, except three cards on the bottom, okay? And they don't know that. So you ask somebody to piss, pick a card, just watch that they don't flash these. When they pick a card, while they are looking, you just turn the deck over. Now you can do this, you can really do this just like this, but if you wanna add a little bit of subtlety, you just drop your hands a little bit and watch what happens when the wrist turns. You see, the wrist turns like this, and the deck turns with it, okay? So if I show, so, and this is happens when they are watching the card, okay? So if you want, if you have two two hands, it's super easy. They, they pick the card, they look, you just, as soon as they pick the card, you just a natural motion, don't go fast, just really subtle, you just drop your hand a little bit and then you come up like this. So it's like, okay. So please put your card in the middle, okay? One more time, if <laughs> you didn't get this. So they look at the card, as soon as they pick the card, you just drop your hands a little bit, come up and say, okay, let's pick, and they give you the card again, you say, okay, let's put it in the middle. Now, you just have to watch that you don't flash like this, you just hold it a little bit tightly and place it in the middle, like so. I like to show it like this, I think that's a nice thing to do, to show it, and you push it in. Now you're good to go. What you do now is you say whatever you like to say, you just come with your own pattern and you go like, whoo, look, your card is now on top. Ta-da! Of course, this is not their card. They will be like, no, this is not their card. And then you say, oh, okay, um, let me do it one more time, okay? What about this card? And they will say, no, this is not, this is not our card. Um, now what you do is basically you just put these cards like so, and as soon as they touch, I like to do it, as soon as they touch, you do a block pushover and reveal that the entire deck is now face up, uh, face up, except one card, their card. Now, what a block pushover is, 
is basically that you push over, uh, you start by pushing over a block, hiding this card. Okay? So when you do this, and the better you get, the more, the less you have to, the less, the, the, the smaller the block is. In the beginning, it's probably something like this. That's okay. But if you can do it like, and spread it, if you can like do it like this, then you're really good. This, this, nobody sees that card. So, and you reveal the deck, and reveal the card, boom, you're good to go. Uh, and you can, you don't have to mind, you can go into other tricks and uh, you, you, you can fix this uh, later, like being a little bit sneaky, or just this was just a one trick. Um, I'll go over it one more time fast. Remember, you have three cards here, you make the pick, they pick the card, and you drop your hands a little bit, or just turn it over, you, the, the, whatever you find is most easy. They place the card in the middle, like this. You get one here. And if you have a hard time not revealing it like this, you can actually, if you push with your thumb here, you can get this card to pop up. And this is good for any type of card magic you're doing. You push with the thumb here. This is actually a really good tip. And I, I use this a lot. You push with the th thumb here and you get this card up. And now it's super easy to turn it over. And you do your block pushover, boom, There's nothing more to it. And you've done your magic. All right, so for my two or three other variations, it's almost the same except you do a Cardini change and a Ernest change. In, with that being said, you place one card now instead of three, exactly the same. You make somebody pick a card, they pick this. You do the same thing, you just drop your hand a little bit, come up like this. Usually it's like, it's like, okay, pick a card in this card, okay. So, give me the card again, place it here. Nobody noticed. Place it like so, show. And now you do uh, either a Cardini change, like boom, or uh, a Ernest change. Like, oh, okay, look, so, if you just go, the entire deck turns over, except one card. Was this your card? The advantages of the Cardini change is that when you do the Cardini change, you are left completely clean. With the Ernest change, you're left in this position right here. Um, I'm not gonna go over these changes. I'll let, let the name of them uh, down below and you can look them up. There are plenty of resources out there uh, and you'll, you'll figure out for yourself. That's the fun with magic. You have to figure out and search for yourself, right? So you figure out for yourself what is what what change you want to do and what of these you do now for my impromptu version of this all right so for the impromptu version of this then you need to do a gravity half pass gravity half pass is a move that allows you to turn over every single card except for one two three or how many you wish for it's a move by lee asher and i recommend you check it out and if you do a gravity half pass you can let a spectator shuffle the deck, you have no setup, and while they are looking at the card, you can do a gravity half pass and you're good to go. Now I'm not gonna go over the gravity half pass because it's not my trick to teach, but I, you can find it, uh, I don't know if you find it on YouTube, but you can find it on the internet and you're good to go. And you don't need, the beauty of this trick is that you don't need a perfect gravity half pass because you're doing it when they are looking at the card, you just do a gravity half pass, and you're good to go. I've never been caught doing it, and now you're left in uh, this position, or with three cards, or whatever, have any many that you like. All right, so sum up, you just place one or two or three cards on the face down like this. Uh, you let somebody pick a card, you turn the deck over, you pick two, two cards up, ask if these are the card, first one, then the other, and then you do a block pushover, pushing over like this, revealing their card, BAM, and you're good to go. So, yeah, there's nothing more to this. I think that, I hope this was clear enough. I'm a little bit on time schedule, I need to be somewhere soon, so I hope I didn't go through, with the, through this too fast. If I did, let me know. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, I'm out.